Hello, you're watching WGOL Channel 7 News. I'm Solomon Larte. And I'm Melissa Sutton. And today's date is Sunday, March the 17th, 2019. Good morning, Gullah Memorial. Excitement, excitement, excitement is going on this week. Just remember, general claims are being accepted payments. Adults are $255, college students are $20, youth are $20, and children are $10. Installment payments are still being accepted. Please see Sister Fanny Porter for additional information. The youth are requesting your help in purchasing an attraction coupon book. The books are $25 and they want to sell 100 by March 31st. All the proceeds will be used to help sponsor youth to activities. So please see one of the youth or one of the youth of parents or Miss Kendall for more information. Our children's ministry is still taking up collecting change to support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Societies. Let us help our children help others. For more information, you may contact Ms. Constance Hill. Then on Monday, the Lord's Table Rehearsal is at 6 p.m. Tuesday, Getting Fit with Frank at 545. Martial Arts is at 6 p.m. And Vessels of Praise Rehearsal is at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, we have Bible Study at noon and 6 p.m. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Go to Memorial Music and Arts Department is presenting Perfecting Gifts, Pursuing Purpose Musical Conference. It begins Thursday night at 7 p.m. with a worship service that is free and open to the public. Also, for registration for the rest of the nights is $25 for adults and $15 for youth. Now, on Thursday, we have our special guest is the Bishop George Pass, and our musical guest is the S.D. Johnson Celestial Mass Choir. So please come out and join us on that Thursday night for a wonderful worship service. And then on Friday, also at 7 p.m., we will have different types of workshops that will be available for anyone who registers to attend. On Saturday morning, we're getting back up and getting started again at 9.30. So please come out and join us. Sunday, oh, Sunday, Sunday, the grand finale will be hosted at our partner church, Greater Church, at 3 p.m. There will be a concert exhibiting all the things that we've learned during this conference. So it is also free and open to the public. So Gola, please come on out and support. Music and Arts Department, turn out in record numbers. On Friday, it's Soul Food to Go from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please come and get your plate. Plates are $10 and we have all our wonderful classic favorites. On Saturday, March the 30th, the Back Bush Children Education Association will be presenting Dinner and Dance here at Golden Memorial's Enrichment Center at 6.30 p.m. For tickets, you may see Ralph or Comfort Person or Constance Hill. Back by popular demand, the fifth Sunday dinner will be here at Golden Memorial immediately following the morning worship service. So please come and get your plate for $10. And then after you're finished eating, go right on over to Mainville AME Zion Church for our District 5th Sunday Fellowship. Does Daylight Savings Time have you discombobulated? Come back Daylight Savings Time and do sleepiness by getting in some early morning sun. One simple idea, soak up some rays first thing in the morning, sipping your coffee or tea on the back porch to help regulate your circadian rhythm also known as your body's internal clock. Also, work up a sweat. Exercising in the morning can help give you a boost of energy. Don't have time to spare? Fit in a seven minute workout session using your app on your cell phone or from your DVD or from the TV. 
This is your healthy tip for the week. For most people, paying your rent or mortgage is the highest expense and it becomes difficult to pay it all out of one check. So if you get paid twice a month or bi-weekly, divide the mortgage up. Pay, save half of it out of one check and then save the balance out of the next. It would make it so much easier on your budget. Join me next time for other money elevating tips. Hi, this is Tammy Chef and this is today's entertainment news. Shaquem Griffin has been without his left hand since he was four years old. Seahawks linebacker Shaquem Griffin has become an inspiration to people all over the world with all he has overcome. Griffin was diagnosed with amniotic band syndrome, a condition that caused the umbilical cord to wrap around his wrist in the womb, which prevented his left hand from fully developing. The condition caused him much pain and had become so bad that they decided to have surgery to remove the hand. While growing up, it was his passion to play football, and that is just what he did. Griffin wants to be known for his play on the field rather than just a player who has one hand. The worst thing you can tell Griffin is he has a disability. He says that he does not like the words disability or handicap. That means you're limited to certain things. He told the Today Show that he is not limited to nothing. He can do anything anybody else can do. As stated, he has done just that alongside his twin brother, Shaquille Griffin, and both play for the Seattle Seahawks. He says to be beside each other again, it's amazing. If there's anyone out there in our audience that would like to be a featured story for Entertainment, to New Entertainment Today's News, please see me. Thank you. Please stand as your name is called. Linda Sutton, Russell Harper, Annie Manuel, and Gilbert Johnson. Happy birthday to you. that you have a cup. This has been Mo's Motivational Moment. Hello, today is March 17, 2019. I am Solomon Larte, and this is Solo Sports Corner. Now, last week I informed you guys that I'd be having brackets available because I want to get the whole church involved. Let's have a little fun. So being that Selection Sunday is today, and the brackets won't be set officially until Tuesday, I believe, after the play-in games, I'll have uh, brackets available on Wednesday. So anybody who wants to participate, come by the church, and I'll have brackets available. So just write your name on it, fill it out, and I will collect those on Sunday. Now, moving along. There's been some big news in football. You know, the off-season's here, the draft's about to approach, and there's been some trades. Mr. Momack, I know you're feeling some type of way, as well as you, Brandy. No more OBJ. Bye-bye. Meanwhile, the Oakland Raiders picked up possibly the best receiver in the NFL. I'm not going to brag about it. I'm not going to say too much. But just know, next year, it's going to be my year to host the Super Bowl party because we're going. NBA, um, we're really gearing up for the playoffs. And it's looking like LeBron James might miss the playoffs for the first time in a long time. And might I say... I am very happy. I'm tired of seeing him in the playoffs. He needs a break. In other sports news, uh, baseball players, they're still getting ridiculous contracts. But, you know, that's just the way the world goes. So until next week, you guys, I'll catch you later.